Hey, people just throwing it away. Nobody wants the championship. Nobody wants the podium places. Well, it's got that look to it, isn't it? Yeah, it's, uh, it's very bizarre. But, uh, well, the rotor boat now coming off the trailer. So Richard Burt, Katie Munro doing the navigational duties. The telltale smoke, the oil into the methanol gives it that sweet, sweet smell. That's one thing you can't get on the internet, isn't it? Oh, exactly. So launching it, one rotor turbo. So Richard Burt, in his getting into the top five, he went wrong way. He hung on by the hair of his chinny chin chin. So now, will he have the presence of mind to continue with this run smoothly, calmly, get the rotation right? Katie Munro knows where she's on the track. She'll be directing him. Richard Burt just needs to keep his head about himself. Up into the mouth fresh roundabout for the final time. Split the middle of the track. So, oh, he's eased off big time. Another problem with the rotor boat. And that is the end of the day for the rotor boat. Richard Burt and Katie Munro. What a disappointing day for those guys. They just keep battling, don't they? They certainly do. But, uh, yep, Richard Burt straight out of the seatbelt, straight into the back of it. Mate, I don't think there's any purpose in having a look at the back of it. I think I'd probably kick it, put it up on the trailer and put it back in the garage for the night. Hey, there's always next season. There is absolutely always next season. And don't worry, they will be back. We all miss that sound and smell for the rest of the day. Oh, that's right. Hey, have you ever thought that right, with the uh, NASA stuff going on over the back here and uh, them potentially launching a balloon some point this week, have you ever thought that people who identify UFOs are really bad at identifying stuff? Well, I have often thought about that. And have you ever wondered if sometimes you're somebody's imaginary friend? Could well, but am I even here? <laughs> so ladies and gentlemen we'll just affect the rescue of the rotor boat we'll be back in a second <laughs> well done Richard looking cool up there until you nearly fell backwards into the engine Liquid gold now with Graham Hill coming to the start line. So, liquid gold off the line, the Nissan twin turbo. Oh, wow, I didn't think you could get any finer than that. That is, uh, well, uh, that's a chin hair. Had well, I'll tell you what, he's utilising every little bit of available water and I think he may have even stole a little bit to get around that corner. So Graham Hill really now starting to push it. So, uh, 
Graham Hill really starting to get on fire now. Wants to progress into this top three. It's going to be hard to get in there. Some big names. Richard Bird, we know he's not going to make it. Graham Hill, previous best was a 53. This is a 53.2. He's got half a second quicker than, uh, than his previous best. So that is a great run for Graham Hill and Amanda Kiddo in the liquid gold machine. It is now going to be a waiting game for the next three boats. Graham Hill, Amanda Kiddo will be waiting, wondering. It must feel like an, an age. Oh, I dare say it would feel like an eternity when you're just sitting there and the, uh, well, you know, the time clock says it all. I'd also like to thank uh, Lakeland Contracting, Templeton and Sons Engineering, Ho Johns Painting, Wanaka Builders, Thunderjet, No Limits Interiors. Also, uh, Margot from the Luggett Hotel, Power on Site, brought to you by Peter McMeehan, McKee. But Meekin, sorry about that, got myself tongue-tied, twisted. It was almost like she sells seashells down the seashore. Uh, Regional Ford and Advance Quip. Let's not also forget the uh, promoters, Lloyd and Julie Ferguson, and the family here at the Oxbow Adventure Aqua Trackers. Peter Cowie, the NT machine, launches off the line. Sharma Puchanui doing the navigational journey. 600 cubic inches. They believe it is the world's largest small block. So this boat just looking brilliant at the moment. Peter Cowie builds these boats. This is what he does for a full-time living. Absolute consummate professional. Into the sun now. Around the left. Got a little bit bogged down there for mine. But uh, Peter Cowie still showing plenty of pace. The time that he wants to be beating is what Graham Hill said of the 53.208. So Peter Cowie now to the top part of the track. It's just the left-handers ready to go now. This is going to be good. Peter Cowie, 52.238. So Peter Cowie, that's his quickest time of the day. So that was a great run there from Peter Cowie. Well, now it is going to be up to Sam Newdick in the PSP racing machine. The man who stepped up from Group A last season into the, uh, into the unlimited superboats this season. I'll tell you what, mate, seriously, if this stuff doesn't make you excited, you might have to go to the doctor because you could be bloody dead, eh? Hey? Well, you haven't got a pulse, have you? you got no pulse if you're not enjoying this, ladies and gentlemen. So, Sam Newdick now, Glenn Mason, PSP Racing. Launching off the line now. Oh, this boat looking like it's on rails. Peter Cowie was smooth. Sam Newdick somehow looks smoother. Oh, no. Oh, no. That is an engine failure. And that is the end of the day for Sam Newdick and Glenn Mason. They will be gutted. What a disappointing end to the day. Haven't got words for that, have we? No, we haven't. Did not see that coming. Well, uh, they've had a few issues with the 500 cubic inch Kendrick. It's a 15-year-old motor. They had an issue with it at uh, Merry Merry four rounds ago. They did get it sorted out. They had a bit of an issue after the last round at Wanganui. They believed that they'd solved that problem, but uh, it's fairly clear that the problem is not solved. It is quite hard to try and solve a problem when you're only running your motor one minute at a time, isn't it? Well, that's exactly right. Very hard to test these boats as well. Um, because you can't test them on lakes and test them to the true efficiency of what you'll get out of a jet sprint track. As soon as you're in deep water, the whole uh, characteristics and handling characteristics of a jet sprint boat change. As soon as you bring it to the track, the characteristics of the water and the motion of the water are different again. So very, very difficult to uh, test these boats in full-on race conditions unless you're racing. So, ladies and gentlemen, Sam Newnick and Glenn Mason.
All right, well, will affect the rescue. I dare say that he's uh, certainly going to upset... Uh, well, that's certainly going to make the overall championship very, very tight now. This is going to change the game for the unlimited superboats. Well, I mean, if you're sitting there at the moment trying to work it out, she's all coming together for some of the teams, isn't it? Well, that's exactly right. And we've, uh, we've got our uh, people who operate the abacus. We've even got somebody here who's using an hourglass to uh, try to calculate who's going to win on the championship points across these classes. So uh, it is very tight indeed. We'll just take a short break, grab a breath of fresh air, and uh, we'll be back in just a minute with Glenn Head still to come for the uh, round out the top five of the Mouth Fresh Superboats. All right, Altherm window systems coming out now. The uh, 400 cubic inch HRE twin turbo producing 1400 horsepower launching off the line very slowly till he gets halfway down the front chute, then pushes it. Glen Head not in championship contention for the 2017 season, but wants to take away the round win. Had a very... Uh, Interesting season, engine issues, and uh, a couple of wrong ways in finals put paid to his championship aspirations. Oh, that was really late down there. Really nearly got himself completely confused and lost and uh, managed to hang on to it into the mouth fresh roundabout. The boats are uh, looking superb, but Glenn probably uh, made a couple of little mistakes early in the lap, but he certainly wants to finish the season on a high Will he progress into the top three? He's got to. Oh, 51.836. He has gone quicker by 0.2 of a second. But here is how it is going to look going in to the finals for the unlimited category from slowest to fastest, Graham Hill. Peter Cowie and that man, Glenn Head, will feature. Ladies and gentlemen, we have nine runs left to go. These runs, the top three in the Group B, are going to determine the 